Um, obviously, a you know disappointing result, and um, really, really disappointed for our team. Uh, felt like we, you know, came out um, playing the style of football um, that we needed to play to win the game, and um, had every intention come out in the second half to do that all over again. And you know, the things that we did well in the first half, we weren't able to carry over into the second half. That that started with penalties showing up offensively and uh, us getting behind the chains and not able to sustain drives. Um, you know, we turned the ball over there early and, and led to a short field and a one play touchdown. And then, um, you know, they, they were good enough um, over the course of that third quarter to create explosive plays and to, um, you know, to put distance between us and them in the game. And so, um, you know, there's going to be things in the first half that we're going to want to build from. Obviously, you know, we know that we got to play four quarters in a complete game to have a chance to get the result we want. We didn't do that against a good team and, and um, you know, our margins are really thin. And so they were able to separate. Um, and so we need to be better. But um, with that, happy to open up the questions. Was there a common denominator, you know, with the defensive mistakes in the second half? Well, I mean, tackling would be one, you know, um, the, the lack of you know, we had we had the ball wrapped up twice on explosive plays, and and uh, they got out. Uh, they hit us on a double move off run action uh, for one, and then um, you know a long one too, uh, just through the middle of our defense. Um, so you know, it's it, it you know there's going to be a lot to to learn in those situations, and that, and that that learning goes um, goes both you know with respect to the structure and the design, the coaching, and then it's the execution of, and um, you know where we can do a better job of putting our guys in good positions. Um, and then, you know, where, where we need to have a little better awareness, um, you know, on the player level to execute it. So, you know, those will be places we can learn. We're gonna play a lot against a lot of explosive, explosive offenses from here to the finish of the season. And so we'll have chances to show improvement there and to be better. Um, I did think our corner play improved at times. I thought we were <clears throat> better on the edges. Um, you know, I, I feel like um, the 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 middle eight was an opportunity for us to to um, to create separation on our end. And uh, you know, we had the the fourth down touchdown um, and needed on the next possession to do something to defensively to keep them out of the end zone, certainly. And when they hit the chunk play through the middle, um, I thought that was just a critical breakdown on our part. And, you know, that's a place we can be better because, um, you know, a better finish to the first half um, sets us up for, you know, again, a little more separation. And then that drive, first drive in the second half, let's go get points, let's go win a game. You know, that was going to be the formula. It just wasn't, we weren't able to, to carry that through and, and uh, we paid for it. Well, he was good. I mean, he you know he he made some good decisions. There were there were also a couple of freshman moments in there that we'll we'll teach off of. But um, you know, I thought he was he was steady and consistent, and I thought he gave um, you know our skill position players chances to make plays. Um, our success on offense, really, particularly in the first half, was built around a physical running game too. I was proud of the way the O line played. Um, Obviously, with the penalties, we got a little bit sloppy in the second half, in the third quarter in particular. But um, you know, there was an identity uh, there. But um, AJ is going to continue to grow, and and um, you know, we're going to look at the game, and certainly there are going to be things that we're going to want to build off of for him, but also areas where you know we're going to want him to um, you know to use the experience to, to grow forward. So we'll we'll, we'll do that. Is he going to be okay moving forward? He was holding his left arm. Yeah, it's it, 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 it's a contusion, and and that happens. Um, I don't anticipate that being anything long term, but certainly something we're going to have to um, treat and get him back healthy. Luckily, it's not a throwing arm injury, so we, you know, I would anticipate him being okay. The uh, packages with Mike were those predetermined? Were you seeing a look that you liked there that called for it? What went, what went into that decision? Yeah, it's it's always been our intention to. 
to you know use the best 11 players and Mike is that for us with the quarterback position it's, it's a challenge because you're trying to build rhythm as an offense but um you know we we spent time on the bye week developing that we think AJ settled into the starting role and um you know we want to we want to do everything we can to to put points on the board and Mike Wright's a part of that he's been a an explosive playmaker for us all season, and and um, you know we'll keep building upon that. I was proud of Mike the way he came in, and um, really felt like um, his energy, you know, on the sideline and then when he was on the field, was uh, had a positive impact for us. And so you know we want to keep facilitate letting him facilitate the offense, and obviously um, complementing his skills with AJ's as well. Is Gunnar Hansen uh, okay? I saw that he was dressed. Yeah, he, he um, just suffered a, a you know injury during the week and um, was available, but but not a hundred percent. And so um, would anticipate him being back at practice for us on Monday and and available next week. But um, unfortunately, wasn't able to to play at a hundred percent tonight. Was Rocco Griffin available? He was. Yeah, yeah. He, Rocco was was in there. I think um, there at the end and. Um, you know, obviously we're going to be looking for more from him too, but um, um, felt like we were able to establish a run game there early and get into a rhythm and, and uh, kind of stuck with what was working. When you guys went huddle down 10-18 early in the second half, was that just let's get our defense rested because they're scoring so quickly? What, what went into that decision? You, you just, you, you've absorbed you know, a flurry of punches there, and you need to you need to settle the game back down. Um, you know, we, we needed to score a touchdown, and we needed to do that uh, the best we could in terms of how the offense was going to function and flow. Um, obviously, we knew that we were going to have to speed it up at some point, but um, needed a chance to settle the game down, and so uh, wanted wanted to kind of stay within our identity in the in that moment. Defensively, you know, you mentioned the schemes, and you, you come out of the bye week with a lot of time to prepare and give up 15 points. Uh, would you consider taking over defensive play calling? No, uh, you know, I don't. Um, that's not. That's not the direction. I think the direction is just to continue to develop and, and get better. And certainly, I can have a hand in that. Um, but um, you know, there, there are going to be things that we don't like in design, or things where we need to be. A call ahead in a situation uh, where you know maybe we're getting to a changeup or an adjustment um, just a snap too late, and there are going to be things that are going to be about the playing of the play. And um, you know, um, I've got full confidence that we'll that we'll have the chance to make those improvements. And you know, we we play here two two pretty good offenses, and um, these are teams that are going to make you pay for your mistakes. Um, so. We got to coach it better, and um, you know I know our players are going to take ownership and accountability where the execution's falling short, and um, you know we'll, we'll improve from this. Uh, Mark, it seems like the defense has done pretty well in short yardage situations, like the red zone fourth down, but has given up a lot of really big plays. What do you think is behind the discrepancy there? <coughs> well. Um, you know, the, the big plays today um, started with the touchdown on a third and long where, um, you know, we, we missed uh, coverage on, on the, the running back. They had put the receiver in the backfield, and he was able to, to run out. Um, you had a, a post there at the end of the first half that uh, needs to be doubled, and we have ways to, to get the middle closed in the call we were in. We just weren't able to do it. Um, in the second half, uh, you know, I thought they made good adjustments and, and had the, the scheme where the the running back and the quarterback were were um, you know kind of off off read were able to carry the ball in the same play and they found some some room on that one, um, you know. And then to me, a lot of what happened um, after that was <clears throat> you know um, missed tackles and and. Um, and you know, uh, kind of poor eye discipline. You know, and there are things that you can do as a play caller to to take pressure off. So anytime you know you're in man coverage, or anytime you've created within the call a one on one without help, you're going to have a little more pressure um, as a DB. And so you know, getting to some of those change ups sooner 
um, will be helpful to us. But um, those were, you know, those were the explosives, and just got away from us. And we got to do a better job there. And again, as we as we kind of faltered on offense in the third quarter, we needed to come up with some stops. We weren't able to do that, and um, we're just not to the point yet as a program where we can play that way and come out unscathed. Anything else? Thanks, guys. Third quarter, we gave up too many explosive plays. Uh, as you can see, they had, I mean, a couple one one uh, one play drives that really hurt us and really hurt the offense and hurt the whole team because I mean it's unacceptable. But um, yeah, we should execute. We didn't execute in some areas on defense where we allowed them to extend drives and also go over top of the explosives. So that's kind of what we had to do better in the third quarter. So yeah. I know this isn't probably your department. There's, was there supposed to be defensive back help on some of those plays that got away from you um, in the middle? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I have too much to say on that. I'm not sure. Um, I, I mean, obviously we have to have somebody back there, um, but I mean, things happen, plays happen. You got to, you know, adjust and move on from it. So, I mean, you just got to learn and get better from, from what happened tonight. So, how do you think you guys handled? I think we handled it really well. The first half, the first drive, I think we um, it didn't surprise us at all. We knew we knew what to expect, obviously, going into the game. And I don't think it's, tempo was a factor in what happened tonight. Um, I think we handled it really well as a team. We were really prepared for it. And I think at the end of the day, um, I think they were probably more tired than we were, honestly. So. Thank you. Yeah, I think we did. Uh, you know, I, I think, you know, kudos goes to our O-line, the Grease Gang. Um, you know, they did what they need to do up front for us to have a successful day. And, you know, I, I think I think they, they kind of underestimated us um, throughout the game. So I think we was able to take it to them and just attack and find lanes throughout throughout the running game and even in the passing game. <clears throat> Jaden's big, big, uh, big catch and even we'll have some pretty good catches. So, um, you know, I think we had the momentum and it's just about trying to keep that going throughout the second half and and making sure that you know we execute and keep doing what we got to do. Um, what did you think of you know AJ Swan's performance today? I think AJ did well. Um, I think he did really good, and 
you know, I think people don't understand that he's just a freshman. He's a true freshman, so he's going to make mistakes. I mean, we're all going to make mistakes, and it's just about how you come back and you reset, and I think he did that very well. You know, uh, every time he came to the sideline, he was very communicative. He was very hands-on and just telling guys to keep their head uh, head up and, and just be ready for the next play. So I, th I think he did well, and I think, again, we just have to understand that, like, he's young, but he's going to grow into something really well. And, again, this Commodore Nation should be really excited because he's going to be the face of this program, and he's going to take his places real high. Backwards pass was, was an odd play. Was that supposed to be was that supposed to be a forward pass the way it was drawn up? And I, I evidently everybody thought it was a forward pass. Is that right? And that's why nobody hopped on it. Uh, you know, things happen. You know, just it, it things just things happen. It's football. Uh, you know, you're gonna make mistakes and. We can play the blame game here and blame it on whoever, but again, it's just football. Things are going to happen, and it's about resetting. And you know, I think um, it's just about us going back out there and executing after that happened. Uh, I, th I think we we just kind of fell short to going back out there and doing what we need to do. But things happen, so there's no blame on nobody, really. Anything else? Thanks, Eric. No problem.